All right, guys, it's David, a.k.a. Reverse Long, and today I'm back again at the rooftop of the Los Angeles Athletic Club. I couldn't go to the other corner uh, facing the U.S. Bank Tower because the sun is pretty harsh, but it's a beautiful day out there today. It's supposed to rain. Actually, I was, pl I was planning to go to Catalina Island for the long weekend, but uh, it was, it was uh, forecasted to be raining, but, like, you know, it ended up being all right. But um, either way, I got a lot of stuff done this weekend. Hopefully you guys did too. I wanted to go over one topic in particular, which we'll touch on a little bit later. But first, a couple of announcements. So next weekend on Sunday, um, I forgot the exact date. It's April something, whatever. It's, it's the, the first Sunday of April. All right, it's a lot of wind. Hopefully this, this tripod stays. But the first Sunday, April, is going to be the Skill Set Masterclass of Conscious Training Academy. And that's where I'll go in and answer everybody's questions throughout the week, like in the Discord and stuff. There's like people asking depth questions. Those in-depth questions, in-depth explanations require like, you know, some explaining, some really in-depth explaining. And that's what the Conscious Training Masterclass is for. You write your questions down. You ask me for the Masterclass. And actually, whoever wants to, um, you know, the, the, people don't put in the extra work, but they should, you know, take advantage. I, I uh, mentioned that, okay, so if someone uh, puts in their question ahead of time, I will make a specific video before the master class and upload it on the archive for you to see a couple times. I mean, because the master class is not going to be like an all day thing. It's a limited amount of time. So we got to utilize that amount of time very wisely. And that's why I said, okay, so whoever has questions can, in, can input them into the, into the, you know, in the questionnaire thing whoever signs up for the class and then I will make a specific video for answering that question in depth and it's going to save it to the archive so the archive is going to have like a lot of questions that everybody has you know it's like usually these questions they you know every a lot of people have them just one person is vocal a couple people are vocal about it so that's what the master class is for and then the other week following Sam is taking the lead on that one on everything mindset related everything mind related and then so like once a, no yeah yeah so once a month is him, once a month is me. So this is uh, the one for the skill set, everything related with short selling. So all the questions that you have and like, you know, so that's what it's for. So the Discord is mostly for intraday trading. I'm staying laser focused. People in there are staying laser focused. This is not a place to ask in-depth questions and get explanations because like I need to be focused on trading a thousand percent. Um, trading is the most lucrative thing that you can do all this other stuff is just like fun and games but like trading is the is the is the lucrative thing it's the bread and butter for everything that i'm doing all my success weighs on the trading so i need to be focused on trading okay what else um yeah so uh i think that's about it yeah we got the stock analysis videos on uh on the friendly bear channel so like these are my personal stock analysis that i'm doing uh and i i I like to do it in depth so I have I burn it into my brain because a lot of the stuff is memory you know you got to remember the stocks that trade you got to remember what it did in the past remember what the float was in the past compared to now remember when it IPO compared to now did it what was the institutional percentage before compared to now what was whatever was going on oh did it have like some kind of animal testing news in the past preclinical and like is it regurgitated news again we saw that this week forgot the stock name already but um made me a lot of money this week so those little things that you can recall fast quick that's edge you know when when a company did a certain news uh in the past and they do it again you got to be able to remember it recall it um recently we've seen hoth hoth i've been shorting this thing since like 2019 when i was a noob they did paid pump and dumps back then paid pumps um of course the pumps are weaker these days but like a pump is a paid pump is a paid pump so by journaling it extensively since day one like it's on my radar all the time and um whenever it pops up usually in the pre-market i'm giving you guys some game who's gonna act on it who knows but uh whenever wherever it pops up you gotta be quick because these spikes you check the last pre-market spike i think it was like two minutes so you gotta recall in two minutes and you know ready to go ready on the fly so like that's how you capitalize by memory laser focus and all that that's why the master class is held on the weekends and the master class is where all the questions are to be directed to okay that being said um what did you guys do this long weekend i know what i did i 
caught up. Well, I mean, I'm always re well rested, but I, I rested well. I exercised. I listened to audiobooks. I listened to Jim Rohn, uh, his audio collective guide. Where, like, uh, I got it on Amazon Audible. What an amazing collection. You know, so this is the guy that's like always on, uh, at least for, for me, uh, because my Instagram feed is. Um, but uh, yeah, so I get nice things fed to me that, that help me for, to, you know, to grow and to increase everything that I'm doing, you know, um, good stuff. Not like a time waster or cat videos or whatever it is, or political trash, uh, you know, so I get fed good stuff. So Jim Rohn is one that keeps popping up in my feed. And um, I like what he has to say. And uh, this is a guy from uh, old school from the 60s and 70s, seems like, and the 80s and whatever, 90s. But like, you know, that was his like, that was it's, it's from way back. So I got his audio book. I'm listening to his audio books. I'm going for a walk. I like I like exercising. I like walking downtown. Downtown is pretty it's pretty entertaining, man. Um, such a beautiful day. I, I walked right before here down Broadway. So Broadway at one point was bigger than Broadway, New York. They had like all the Broadway shows that you can still see all the theaters. So that I'm listening to audio books while I'm doing this. I'm going downstairs to the athletic club. Uh, like this nice room this like reading room i read in there like the trade the trader is what i'm reading recently um i'm gonna do a book review on that soon with a criminal uh one of the one of the guys in the in the trade floor of the discord that we've done a few book reviews so reading that i'm watching webinars old school webinars well previous things i signed up for when i was a noob i still have access so i i watch a couple that i like um you know, and uh, just watching, going through my routines, and it's just everything is nice and easy, man. It's like I don't have to force myself or to get in the zone to do anything. Even this podcast is already part of my routine. I just click the attach the little mic thing on it, put it to the phone. I know exactly where I'm going. I don't have to think about what location I'm at. I'm just going to go to the rooftop of the athletic club. Right after that, I'm going to go work out downstairs. I'm going to do some more reading. And then I'm gonna go eat something nice and go to bed, wake up in the morning. So this is like, you know, this is like the, the this is what it is for me, the weekend. Also yesterday, what else did I do? I went to, a, yeah, anyway. Anyway, enough of that. Um, it's too sunny, you can't see the clock. Okay, so I wanted to go over a topic that Jim Rohn brought up on my audio yesterday. You know, as I was walking around downtown and listening to audio books, um, about why hu so humans are the ones that are underperformers in the whole animal kingdom and stuff. So like animals and insects, they all overperform or they they perform at a hundred percent. You know, like the ant. Think about the ant. He lifts as much weight, like I don't know, a hundred times weight more than himself, and he's like maximizing his potential. You know what I mean? Humans are the ones that don't maximize their potential. A lot of people. You know, I walk around downtown here. There's a lot of people that don't, they don't maximize their potential. So like, how do you maximize your potential? So, so for me, this is something that I was thinking about without like being aware of it all the time. And it's like that sense of urgency that I've, that I've had ever since I had like the brain operation that I had from a brain tumor. And the doctor told me I had uh, 50 more years of life, give or take, and a little bit more, a little bit less. It's all up to me. So like, how do you perform your best? Then when I got in trading, it's like, all right, how do I perform my best with trading? It's like, not only to get profitable, you like, how do you perform better? Okay, you cut out alcohol. Uh, things that were getting in the way, selling the car. I go over this a lot, you know, um, and moving downtown. How do I be more efficient? More efficient to do more things with the time that I have and to get, add more habits, more routines, get more study time in. The other day I, I was talking with someone about like what is it what's the fastest way to get profitable fastest way to get profitable is get this quality 10,000 hours in of uh trading information trading knowledge the faster you get with quality you know so how do you get that quality so i got it on my own by doing what i just said like getting all those habits and like tweaking them up you know eliminating things that were from my life that are not serving me just getting rid of it getting rid of toxic people talk you know it's like things that were getting in the way for me to get more knowledge, more, more education. And then once I got it, the market presented the opportunity. I got it. I had enough. The market presented enough opportunity, 2020, 
which you've got to be ready for. There's always going to be another cycle like that. You know, every five to ten years, there's something crazy, and you've got to be ready for it. So, and I knew something like that was coming from the very beginning. I was like, I need to get more knowledge so that when the next thing comes, when the next 2008 comes, when the next 1999 comes, I got to be somewhat ready, at least ready enough to take advantage of it so I can change my life. It's crazy. You know, so 2020 was that for me. I recognized it and uh, had some initial success. And I knew right away that um, there's, there was more information out there. Like when I'm stuck in a room, I basically locked myself in a room for two years leading up to that. I knew, and like with no social media, no, no social life, nothing. Selling everything off that I had and just locking myself up in a room studying the material uh, for two years. After that, I knew that like I needed to get more exposure to more, more stuff. And I knew Puerto Rico had it. And so when I had my first... Uh, let's say 150, 200 grand success profits, I reinvested in myself to m relocate and be in the mecca of trading, uh, you know what I mean, of networking right there in Puerto Rico. Anyway, so that was, qual then that sped everything up. That sped everything up. It's now like I'm getting quality knowledge, quality information on a daily basis. Now it's like it's my life as, of, as opposed to before in the, in the office over there. Uh, just locked myself up in a room and like digging through the dark you know what I mean like I don't really know what I'm doing but like I'm, I'm, I'm doing something and like it's working so I'm just gonna keep doing it now when I went over there now it's the quality information but anyway going back to how do you reach your full potential so like I was on the search of that so you first gotta realize how do I reach my full potential so I knew being in, the, in that office space I knew that was not my full potential me digging online can only take me so far i need to go to the source and so like i went to the source and it wasn't enough i i i create a podcast so i can go out to more people and get more knowledge how do you get the maximum how do you reach your maximum potential so like i was on the quest of that how, how can i reach my maximum potential i need more knowledge i need more knowledge i need i, I kept reading reading books i ordered any book that someone recommended to me in person, in podcast, whatever, I ordered it. Audio. If it wasn't on audio, I got the physical. Always. Always. If you look at the first, I don't know, 100 podcasts or so, I always ask book recommendations. Book recommendations. That wasn't for you guys. That's for me. And, like, you know, whoever is interested, more than welcome to, to get it. But I was looking, I was searching for the, what books, what other books are there out there that I can use for my, my own growth, my own, I want more information because they don't teach this stuff in school. I got to search on my own. I got to go the rabbit holes. Well, that's what I was doing. So how do you, so like, there, you know, some people, I remember there's a couple of traders I interviewed. I asked them for book recommendations. They said, no, I don't read any books. And I'm like, damn, yeah, this person's missing out, man. He doesn't read any books. That's not, that's not reaching your full potential. How do you reach your full potential? I mean, so they reach a certain level that's very good, but how do you go to the next level? How do you reach your full potential? Because human beings, remember Jim Rohn, he said, he was saying, and I agree completely, is like human beings are, are the, the animal that doesn't reach his full potential. So how do you reach your full potential? How? You, you know, you, you see a lot of traders stop at a certain point doesn't matter that point it could be six figures it could be seven figures it could be eight figures or whatever but they stop and they just want to go and, and and you know just chill now that's not reaching your full potential so like but if you're not profitable how do you reach your full potential to get profitable well first you can't quit so you got to ask yourself this question all the time like first you can't quit and like are you maximizing every day are you maximizing your time are you getting distracted are you going are you uh people are calling you up on friday to go party that's not reaching your full potential so how do you reach your full potential how you know so this is something now you know i gotta i gotta start you know it's like i'm approaching 40 years old pretty soon i'm gonna be 40 and like i want to reach my full potential so for so many years my during my 20s i was not reaching my full potential you know i wasn't in, in school I, w I went to university of florida i'm actually going to university of florida next month i was invited for an alumni award they they nominated me for some award over there but anyway in university of florida it was a party school i wasn't reaching my full potential back then i didn't know any better though i didn't know stocks existed i didn't know 
I didn't know anything about business or anything. So I just knew go to school, get a degree and party. But like that's not reaching your full potential. So it's like once you're aware about about what it takes, like what what does it take to reach your full potential? To do pick something to do. It doesn't even have to be about stocks. Damn. A lot of noise. That's crazy. You see it right there. It's an ambulance. Um, but it doesn't even have to be about stocks. It, it could it's just about anything you choose to do you just go you you maximize your full potential doing it and like by the end of the day like when you're old like you got to be like man i did i did my best with that man i did my best and that was uh that's the one thing i when i started trading i've never i don't think i've ever mentioned this when i started trading and i knew it was going to take a while for me to be profitable because like imagine you have a one thousand dollar two thousand dollar account barely margin account and you're learning trading a million dollars is so far away to just even think about a million or way even past a million is way way beyond but i was like man i'm gonna give this five years or so and i'll reassess after that but i one thing i do know is when i'm an old man and i'm on you know on the rocking chair i'm gonna be like no nah. um i gave it a shot man there are no regrets there are no regrets i gave it a shot and then you know what you if you do it right like everything i just spoke about you'd be surprised at the results. And you know, it's just like most people quit and that's what gets in the way. So the first step is just not to quit, to have a long-term vision, you know? And uh, yeah, always maximize, how much time? That's not bad. So always maximize, you know, always think about, am I, am I doing the best I can right now? Am I doing the absolute best I can, you know? Am I doing that? If, if it's no, if you're watching cartoons or the equivalent to cartoons and you're going out on Friday and you're at some kind of, uh, I don't know, some, some uh, big party or something, or what do you call it, like a festival? That's not, you're not, I mean, trading is hard, man. You're going to have to put that aside until you, until you make some money. <laughs> you know what I mean? It just is what it is. But like, are you reaching your full potential? Are you maximizing? Are you, are you doing the best you can? And that means working on yourself and the mindset and the attitude you know if you have a bad attitude you got to fix that you got to fix that it's not it's not conducive to doing anything worthwhile you know so it's not conducive you got to chip away chip away at these things and uh, correct them and work on them add good habits add good routines and then you put in all the work it all comes together and it's glorious man so that anyway that's about it this is a, a lot of noise what is going on <laughs> it's, it's crazy but um i remember actually this this uh hotel hotel perla it actually this weekend i i went to a museum um not too far away it was the italian american museum so this used to be the bank of italy and the bank of italy merged with bank of america and they have the original vaults it's pretty sick and there's a really nice pool over there so when I was going to UCLA, this is 2015-16, they used to have pool parties there. That's what I, I was not doing, maximizing my time. I was going there and, you know, just chilling by the pool, a lot of music and the DJs, like, you know, it's all the distraction. But I didn't know about trading, I didn't know about stocks, I just knew to go to school and do well. But, um, but yeah, that's that. This is another view of the Intercontinental Hotel right there. Uh, the second largest build, tallest building in LA. The first is the US Bank Tower, which you guys can't see. But um, Intercontinental is sick. I'm gonna probably do some podcasts there in the future. And um, yeah, I'm gonna go work out downstairs now at the awesome athletic club. So I'll see you guys later.